My name is Judy Jobrak and I am the Assistant Lab Supervisor here at Ferry Farm Archaeology Lab. And today I'm going to show you how we catalog a context. So the first thing I do is I take everything out of the bag and I sort it by material. So I'm going to put um, all the metals that are in the context together, all the glass together. We also have um, bone and uh, formal material. So we have bones, we have seashells, oyster shells. Uh, the tools that we need for cataloging are very simple. Uh, for, of course, we do a lot of measuring. So we have a ruler, and we have a, a different kind of ruler. We have a scale, because we do measure. Or, or besides measuring, we weigh everything. Um, I also have this interesting little uh, measuring tool. It measures the bores of pipe stems. According to how big the bore stem is, it corresponds roughly to an age in date. So the larger the diameter of the pipe stem, the earlier it is. So we're going to do the first artifact and it happens to be a piece of brick. So the first I'm going to uh, describe this brick in our database. Uh, there's some beginning information that you have to put in. You have to put in the project number which is FF22. The context number and this context number is 173. It is artifact number one. The cataloger is myself, so I put in my initials. The artifact count, there's one brick, so I put in one. If there was two, I'd put in two, etc., etc. And then the next part is where I start describing the brick. And the first uh, category is it is a historic artifact. It is an architectural element. The class indicates that it is uh, ceramic. And material is a courseware. The object is a brick, so I type in brick. The element is a fragment. The manufacturing technique is that it's handmade. I'm not going to measure this, but I am going to weigh it. It is 34.9 grams. If there was anything else about this brick that was distinctive, it if it was burned or had some special inclusions, I could also put that information here on, on our in our database. But um, that's really all I need to say about that brick. So I'm done. I put it back in the bag, and I'm done. I close it. With my so up to this point, the artifacts have been washed and dried and initially sorted. I've just finished cataloging which all the artifacts, which means that I have identified each artifact and tentatively dated at what I could. The next step in this process is labeling. 